Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and usually I do a daily thought. I do my daily thoughts Monday through Friday. However, I added tarot card readings to Keeping It Real with KC on the weekends, and I got through eight signs. So I still have four more signs to go. So here we are. I'm doing Libra tonight, and then my goal is to do the rest of the signs throughout the week for the January reading. Next time around for February, um, I plan on doing six on Saturday and then six on Sunday next time around when February gets here for the readings. Um, however, uh, please know that I don't do reversals. I don't believe in reversals. I read energy. Also, um, the readings are general. Wherever it goes, that's where it goes. If it starts talking about your love life, it that's where it goes. If it starts talking about your career, that's where it goes. If it starts talking about family, that's where it goes. I just go wherever the energy carries me. Also, don't forget that when I'm speaking out loud, I'm not always talking to you. In addition to that, let me move my camera up just a little bit here. Okay. I feel, I think, yeah. All right. And, um, also, I'm not licensed in anything, so if you need some type of healing or what have you, you have to decide what path is best for you. And please keep in mind at the end of the day, this is for entertainment, even though tarot cards do resonate with people, myself included, which is why I started doing them, because I love tarot card readings so much. They're so amazing and oddly on point. Now, I do a preliminary shuffle with my main deck and my clarifying deck before I start recording just to get an idea of what the energy is. The crazy thing is, is that when I started um, doing the pre-shuffle for the main deck, I split it up into eight parts and then started shuffling that way to make sure the cards are shuffled really good. Well, one of the cards that was turned over, the only card that was turned over during that was the Seven of Swords. And I was like, well, that's odd because Seven of Swords came up during Capricorn's reading. And, or was that Virgo? No, I'm pretty sure it was Capricorn. And I was like, that's odd. Okay, I'm going to take that. You know, Spirit's talking to me. So then I did the regular pre-shuffle again, checked the bottom of the deck, and then the Five of Cups showed up, which means there was some type of loss. Someone's it, meaning someone's upset, someone's sorrowful because there was some type of loss. That would make sense with the Seven of Swords, where if somebody took something from someone, there's they may still be upset about it, which is where the Five of Cups comes in. They're still in their emotions, which is what cups represent. I did the pre-shuffle on the clarifying deck and... The Seven of Cups showed up. Seven of Cups is options. It means options are coming available. And I was like, hmm, okay, how does all this connect? And then I did another pre-shuffle, and then the Three of Cups came up, celebration. So based off of the pre-shuffle energy, it seems like you're going to get the last laugh is what I'm picking up here. I don't know where it's going to go during this main reading. And my readings can go anywhere from 20 minutes to 30 minutes. It just depends. I usually pull eight cards out of my main deck and then I, I go wherever it needs to go. But yeah, it seems like, and I don't believe this is a relationship. Like a, a by relationship, I mean a romantic relationship. I don't believe this is a relationship. I believe this is a friendship or family. Something along those lines. And somebody took something of value from you and you're still upset about it. But it's not going to matter because a lot of options are going to come available for you. It's almost like they did you a favor taking whatever they took from you because it's going to open up. It's opening up a, behind the scenes with the universe. It seems like it's opening up a lot of options for you. And in the end, you're going to celebrate with like minded people that you don't really have to worry about them taking something from you. Now, what was taken? I don't know. 
only you know that. But that's the vibe I'm picking up. So let me go ahead and get into this reading. And like I said, it when the cards come out, it, it could be something totally different. It could be totally different. But when I did the pre-shuffle on the main deck and the clarifying deck, that's what I came up with. And I and if that did happen, if somebody took something from you, then of course my heart goes out to you. Um, some of you who follow the show already know my god sister is a Libra and she's she's a sweetheart. We go through our moments sometimes, but she's a real sweetheart. So yeah. I um Libras, they're similar to Leos in a way, not necessarily as diplomatic. They <sighs> Libras do want to please people in a in a certain way. What's on the bottom of this deck? King of Pentacles. Well, that's a good sign. I'm not gonna take that card, but anyways, but that's a good sign. You're gonna have options. Whatever was taken from you, what is the energy of Libra for January 2021? What is the energy of Libra for January 2021? What is the energy of Libra? Okay, we just... and Are we taking all of this? And three cards fell at the bottom. My... Yes, it okay. <laughs> Something saying take it all. Fine, whatever. <sighs> and I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Wow. Okay. Guess what was in one of these cards? Seven of Swords. Not only that, yeah, something was taken from you. And also there's a five of swords in here. There are two conflict cards in here. You got two fives, a five of wands and a five of swords. You in with all this energy, with all the sword energy, you might have been dealing with an Aquarius, another Libra, or a Gemini. Because this is air energy. This is um, air energy with the swords. So you have a seven of swords, which means something was taken. Because Seven of Swords is like you have to watch. You have to read the fine print. You have to see what's going on because somebody's trying to do something shysty or either you're trying to do something shysty. I don't believe that you're the one doing something shysty. Just like I didn't believe Capricorn was the one doing something shysty. I believe that somebody did something shysty to you. I believe this has already happened. I don't believe that this is something that has that may possibly come into being with the energy. I believe this has already happened. Seven of Swords, somebody took something. Throughout that process, there was conflict. A Five of Swords is conflict, but it's conflict with the loss. In addition to that, you have a Five of Wands. Five of Wands is also conflict with passion involved. So this was something heated that got involved. After the conflict, it seems like you got clarity or you're going to get clarity. The reason I say that is because this is an ace of swords. Again, this is air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra that you might have been dealing with in regards to the um, five of swords as fire energy. But either you've got the clarity already after all of this has went down. Maybe you're in that space of because you are sad like, you're like, well, why did this person do this to me? Maybe that's what this is on. This um, Ace of Swords is what it could be, where if you don't have the clarity on why it happened and why this big blow up went down and why this person took whatever they took from you, you're going to get the clarity or you're going to get the communication, um, the communication in regards to it to add clarity to why this went down. In addition to that, you have a queen of wands, fire energy again, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. For the queen of wands,
you're still upset, but you're looking to move forward. You're still upset, but you're looking to move forward. You want to move forward. Is what I'm getting. You want to put this behind you, but you're still you're still stuck in that. But why? But why? Type thing. I recommend you do that because, like I said, in the preliminary shuffle on the clarifying deck, it was a seven of cups and a three of cups. Seven of cups, many options. Watch for many options. Three of cups celebration. Here we have the ace of pentacles. That means a new opportunity. Again, opportunity here. You want to you want to get out of this. You want to get out of this, but you're you're still stuck in that energy. Clarity is going to come in. And I believe that when you get that clarity, that fire is going to burn brighter. That queen of wands and then you're just going to be like, "You know what? F this. I'm over it. I'm I'm moving on." That's it Case sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. That's it. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Bigger and better things are coming because the Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, usually related to money, can also be related to health, but I doubt this is related to health. I do not see that here, but um, it can be related to health in a good way. I believe with that Seven of Cups in the pre-shuffle earlier in the clarifying deck and the Three of Cups of Celebration, and then this Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be a new opportunity on horizon that's going to make whatever this person took from you pale in comparison to what you're going to gain, if that makes sense. To, to break it down in a different way. And I'm just, I hate to talk about money because that may not even be it. It could be something else. They could have, you know, took your man or took something or, or whatever. I don't know. But I'm just to make it really simple, explain it to um, be able to explain it. Let's say they took one hundred dollars from you. This Ace of Pentacles is saying more than likely. Whatever zone you have been pushed into because this individual has took something from you, let's say it was one hundred dollars, more than likely the options are going to come available where you may be able to grab a thousand dollars. And I'm not saying that it's necessarily about money. I'm just using that as an example. Ace of Pentacles, though, is usually about money. It's related to um, material things and also health. Also, Earth sign. Maybe an Earth sign is going to come into play with you and your options. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. But regardless, there's a new opportunity. The universe is going to right this wrong, is what I'm saying. The universe is going to right this wrong. So if you're still in that five of cups energy where you're like, oh, uh, no, the universe is going to give you clarity on why it went down and on why you need to let it go. Ace of swords. And then after you have your final clarity, you're going to get out of it. You're going to get your passion back and you're going to move on from whatever the situation was that was taken from you. Options are going to come available. A major option from the universe is going to come available based off of this Ace of Pentacles. And then we're at six cards right now. So that's what I'm picking up. I'll go ahead and see if there's anything else on afterwards. They say, what is the energy of Libra for 20 January 2021? What is the energy of Libra for January 2021. What is the energy of Libra for January 2021? What is the energy of Libra for January 2021? What is the energy? Ace of Cups. You got another ace. This deals with emotional fulfillment. Also emotional opportunity. Sometimes could be a relationship as well. I'm not picking up a romantic relationship here. I'm not saying that it can't happen. I'm just saying I'm not picking it up. It's a possibility. 
but there is another opportunity that will fulfill you on an emotional level. In addition to this Ace of Pentacles that is also coming in. So you have two blessings from the universe coming in. You have an Ace of Pentacles and you have an Ace of Cups. You have two Aces. The universe is going to right this wrong. Whoever did you wrong, the universe is going to write it. And you know what? I did a daily thought, and this is outside of tarot card readings. Don't laugh at another person's karma. Because the best thing that you can do is focus on you and move forward. As you're moving forward, let go of whatever someone has done to you. Their karma will catch up to them. And more than likely, since this is a new year, this happened in 2020. But I can tell you, as I've been telling all of my listeners and my viewers, 2021 will be a year of sowing, of the seeds being sown. 2022 will be a year of balance. It will be a year of justice. Whatever seeds are sown in 2021, your karma will come in 2022. So if they did you wrong in 2020, if they continue with their shenanigans with other people in 2021, it would not surprise me if that person is going to reap what they sow in 2022. It would not surprise me. But I'm telling you, during the interim of all of that that I just talked about, the universe is saying that it's going to right this wrong with you. It's going to bring in options for you. It's going to bring in options that will fulfill you on a material level and on an emotional level. That's what I'm telling you with an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Mm. Tell me what the energy for Libra is for January 2021. Tell me what the energy of Libra is. For January 2021. Tell me what the energy of Libra is for January 2021. Tell me what the energy. Okay, I might stand corrected. You got a two of cups. Two of cups is usually love, relationship. I just. It doesn't have to specifically be love, though. I wonder if this is a thing where it was a close friend. I'm not picking up romance in this. But someone's going to come in. But I don't think it's going to be romantic. I just believe you're going to have a really good friend. Two of Cups. Yeah. Don't wallow in what was taken from you. If this so-called friend took something from you, don't worry about it. You got the two of cups here. You have, in the pre-shuffle that I did in the clarifying deck, you had the seven of cups, lots of options, and then you had three of cups celebration with a group of friends. You're going to meet, you're going to build a new relationship. I'm not picking up romance. I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm not. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but the energy, I'm not picking up that energy. I believe that this is going to be a friendship. That's what I believe. I believe this is going to be a friendship. Someone who you're just going to be really, really cool with. They're going to get you and you're going to get them. And it's, it's going to be on a platonic level. They're not going to try and take from you. You're not going to try and take from them. You're going to be balanced out. And whatever was taken from you before, you're going to receive it back and more. So you're going to get the lost friend, not as in that specific individual, but you're going to get another individual in your life. And you're more than likely will be blessed monetarily because of that Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be surrounded by good things. It's a possibility that that friend that comes into your life might be well off. And 
they see you for your good heart. They see that you're not the type of person that tries to mooch off of people and try and get what you can from people. And because they see that and they may have money. And again, Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because they see that they don't mind spending money on you as a friend. It's sort of like that thing, girl. I'm I'm flying to Dominican Republic. I'm just saying Dominican Republic because it's on my mind because I, I kind of want to take a vacation. But um, girl, I'm flying to the Dominican Republic. You want to come? Girl, I don't know if I have enough money. Don't worry about the money. I, I, girl, I got you. That type of friendship. Where they may have more money than you, but they don't care because they know that you're not out to take their money in a friendship that you will pull your weight as best you can within your financial means and not try to mooch off of their financial means where this person is just going to have a generous heart and they're going to see you for your heart. That's what I'm picking up with this relationship. I don't believe this is romantic. I really, really don't. I'll do a clarifier and check and see. <laughs> But I, I don't believe this is romantic. I believe this is going to be platonic. This is going to be a platonic friendship. Oh, gosh. Let me do a shuffle right quick. Because I need something to jump out at me to tell me that this is romantic. And I'll know it when I see it. I don't know what card it is, but I'll know it when I see it. Tell me what this card. I didn't even finish getting the word out. I don't know what this card is. I'm ready to turn it over and see. Okay, maybe it might be romantic. <laughs> it might. King of Wands, fire energy. There. Passion. It can be new projects, passion, new starts, but also King, King of Wands, Ace of Wands. They can also stand for the, the thing. And by the thing, the thing. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe I stand corrected. This could be a romantic relationship. Maybe I stand corrected. Okay. I wasn't picking up that energy, but the clarifier of throwing the King of Wands at me. So King of Wands, of course, fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The cards are the cards. The energy that I was picking up, maybe, okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe this is going to start out as a platonic relationship. But as time goes on, passion is lit. I could see that. I could see that. But based off of this main spread that came out, mm -mm. I feel like this is all platonic right here. Could it turn passionate later on? With the clarifier being the king of wands, if I had to do a percentage, I'd say 55 <laughs> percent. I'll give it 55 percent. I won't say 50 50. I give it 55 percent only because it's the king of wands. If it would have been another queen of wands or something like that, I would have said 40 percent. It probably would have said less than 40 percent. But yeah, 55. I give it 55 percent. But as for the main spread, this is going to start off platonic. That's what I'm going for. It may turn romantic later on with passion. But for right now, don't worry about what you lost. The universe is going to correct and give you more than what you lost. So get out of that. Oh, I can't believe this happened. Why did they do it? First of all, again, I know that someone took something from you. Seven of Swords. I know 
that there was a major conflict after you discovered something was taken from you. Five of swords, conflict, five of wands, fighting, conflict. Five of swords is also conflict with a loss, with a great loss. So we got double conflict here. So there, after you found out what was taken, there was a major blow up. That pre-shuffle of five of cups, we got all these freaking fives where you're stuck in that energy of, I can't believe this person did this to me. Why did they do this to me? Ace of swords, clarity is going to come in and give you a little bit of closure, even though in my humble opinion, I don't think you need it. Because <laughs> once somebody does something out in left field, they do something out in left field and it is what it is. And you got to pull it together and move on. But this isn't my reading. So Ace of Swords comes in with communication, knowledge, so on and so forth to give you clarity on why it really happened and why you need to move on. Once you get your clarity, you go into Queen of Wands mode. You have your passion to move on, to seek out new friendships, to allow people into your heart. Again, Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities, new material things can be new relationships as well. Ace of Cups, definitely new opportunities and new relationships. Two of Cups, relationship. <laughs> like I said, I think this is going to start off platonic is what I believe. I believe this is going to start off platonic and has the potential to go romantic. Clarifying card, King of Wands. New projects, new passion, and also that thing, the thing that I was talking about earlier. So, and by thing, thing, the wand, a symbol of the thing. So yeah, <laughs> um, you're gonna be good, Libra. Don't worry about it. The universe is gonna right this wrong. The universe will right the wrong. The universe is going to give you more than you had before. The universe will give you a more stable individual in your life than you had before. And not only will you be celebrating with that individual, you will be celebrating with other individuals again in the clarifying deck when I did the pre-shuffle, there was the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a celebration amongst the group. Like I said earlier, with this Ace of Pentacles, the person who's coming into your life more than likely will have money. And as I said, in addition to that, where it may be that friendship, where I'll give you an example, and this is just the size, and, I, and you know what the funny thing is, he's a Libra too. One of my friends, he's a Libra. Go figure. He, he was friends with a professional um, football player's wife who played in the NFL. Anytime that she did stuff and he was around, she did for him too, if that makes sense. And he never asked for anything because they were just cool. They had known each other before her husband, like all of them knew each other before her husband blew up and went in, into the NFL. So anytime he was with her and she was doing stuff, if she was out shopping and buying something and he just happened to be with her, she would get him something too, just because, just being nice. It wasn't like, you know, she spent 20 Gs or anything like that, but you know, she spent a couple of hundred and be like, oh, did you want this or whatever? And, and do that for him. That's the type of situation I think you're going to come into with this energy. You're going to come into, you're going to meet someone who they got it like that. And they're not worried about how much money you have. And they know that when you can pay for stuff, you're going to pay for stuff, but they don't mind doing extra. And their group of friends will eventually meet you. If that makes sense, where the people that you associated with before, you may still associate with some of those people, but with this Ace of Pentacles, this new relationship that's coming in, this Ace of Cups, this Two of Cups, this new relationship that's coming in, 
with more than likely material money attached to it of some type of standing their friends. You will more than likely meet their friends and find out that you're on the same wavelength. That's going to bring up your status too. Is what I'm picking up. And in the midst of all of this, and maybe that's what that King of Wands could be as well. That maybe one of the people that you meet with this new relationship, two of cups, ace of cups, this coming in, you may meet someone in their circle that you might want to rock with on a romantic level. It could be that. But as I said before, in the main spread, in this main spread, I'm picking up platonic is what I'm picking up. But again, hey, this is just a tarot card reading. I'm just telling you the energy I'm picking up. So, yeah, I tell you what, I'll do one of my um, divine doorways. Card, divine doors cards. My spirit told me to pick it up. Is there any thing that we can tell Libra for January 2021? Is there anything we can tell Libra for January 2021? Is there... What's this? Okay. Hmm. Offerings. Is what it says. Let me see this. Read this. The lighting isn't that great in here. I got to squint. Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected. And see love come around. All right. Offerings. Well, there's going to be an offering. All right. I feel this is going to be platonic. Keep your heart open. Don't close out your heart to friendships. Don't close out your heart to friendships. The universe is trying to bring you in a better friendship. That's going to lead to abundance in your life. The universe is going to right this wrong of whoever it was that took from you. And the big conflict that happened and it was a blow up for me to get a five of swords and a five of wands, five of swords and five of wands together, that blow up was something else. That blow up was something else. I would not have wanted to been around when you two were going at it. But there's going to be clarity. Ace of swords. You're going to come out of it. You're going to get your passion back. You're going to get out there and mingle again and talk to people. And then Ace of Pentacles. Someone's going to come in. Ace of Cups. Offering a friendship. Relationship. Two of Cups. Relationship. So yeah. Passion. Maybe later on through the person that comes in or through the circle of friends they bring with them. King of Wands, clarifying. Keep your heart open. Libra, that's all I got for you. I love you. K-I-R-W-K-C.com, main podcasting platform. That is on Anchor. However, the podcast is on iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, Google, Apple, and several other podcasts. If you're watching this on YouTube or Daily Motion, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and Hit the notification bell on YouTube. That will let you know when I upload new videos. If you are following on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash K-I-R-W-K-C. Put a like on the page. You can follow on Twitter, K-I-R-W-K-C. You can also follow on Instagram. I also upload episodes to IGTV. Until next time, be blessed.